We start with the two inch lip on ribeye, which has a two inch tail on the bottom. We trim both the top and the bottom of the ribeye. Starting from the bottom, we knock down the meat between the back rib and the ribeye. The cartilage is also removed from the ribeye steak because it's not a desirable piece of meat. We notch off some fat here along with the strap and then we further trim down to a one inch tail. And now we have a steak ready ribeye. As you can see, there's a lot of waste. The value in our ribeye is definitely in the precise pre-trimmed process. There's no need for labor. They arrive portioned and ready to go. We would call this the center cut part of the ribeye, or the loin side, where the ribeye attaches to the strip loin. The opposite end is what we call the chuck end of the ribeye. So this is the part that attaches to the chuck roll. As you can see, there's three muscles, which is a little less desirable because the steak has a tendency to break at these points. The ribeye stands out due to the well-known prime rib and the fact that you're getting prime rib in the steak form. It comes from one of the middle and one of the most desirable cuts of the animal. This steak could go all the way up from a diner to the finest steakhouse. The finest steakhouses will use the steak the same way, but will use a higher grade. The utilization of the steak is wide in the industry. A diner might use a select steak, but a fine steakhouse might use a prime. The only reason a restaurant would choose a strip steak over a ribeye is because a ribeye will be fattier and has more muscle. So it does become a little bit of a cooking challenge, but the flavor is undeniable. Especially the ribeye deckel, which is one of the most desirable parts of the steak. It's the top muscle on the steak and is extremely tender. Most people who eat ribeyes consider this part of the steak to be the best, almost like the oyster of the ribeye. Even when you cook the steak well done, the deco is never tough. It is always a very tender piece of meat. Right now, the prices between the grades really aren't very different, but that doesn't always happen. During the seasonal holidays, there's a very wide difference between choice and select. The select ribeye can fit a lot of restaurants' needs because of its rich marbling, even though it's a select grade. The ribeye is the perfect steak for true steak lovers.